Welcome to Ruby Thursdays, Better Than Airbnb. I'm your host, Melissa Wanish. In this unit, Unit 2, Lesson 3, we will be going over Authenticate with Devise. Not a terribly difficult topic, but something very important for the life of your app. You need people to sign in and to sign out. Here are the user stories we'll be working on. As a member, I can log into the site so that I can use the site. And as a member, I want to sign out of the site so that no one else can use the site with my account. Pretty basic, but here we go. Of course, we start with our spec. We'll have a member session spec that we will put in our features file. And we're going to create a member first with Factory Girl. And then we will have two scenarios. The first one is member visits the site to log in. So we'll visit that root path, click the link to log in, fill in all the sign in fields, and expect to have the content signed in successfully. Then of course, we need the member to log out of the site. So we'll click sign out and expect to have the content signed out successfully. And then we have our definition of fill in sign in fields. We'll fill in the member email with the email for the member that Factory Girl created. And we'll fill in the password and then click the button to log in. Devise does come with some helpers for sign in, you know, user or in our case member. Those work on controller and view specs. So just keep those in mind if you decide to fix those up as well. Opening up our text editor, we'll go into features and add a new file that we'll call member session spec.rb and save. Then we'll include the spec that I went over. So copy and then paste that right in there. And then the second half, go ahead and paste there and save. Then of course we need to run the spec, make sure it is failing in the way that we expect. So our spec, spec features, member session spec. And then it fails, yes we thought it would. And of course it's missing those links, we haven't put those in. So it's missing a login and a sign out link. Generally, you handle headers as partials because it depends on whether or not you're logged in or out, which header will be available to you. So we will create the partial, the logged out header, which will have the link to log in. And that goes to new member session path. That's the device path. Then we'll create the partial logged in header, which will have the link to sign out, which is destroy member session path. And anything that destroys in Rails, we need to have that method delete go with it. Just an extra special thing. All the deletes have it just to make sure, yes, delete. Then we will add these partials to the layout. So we'll have the conditional if member signed in, and that's a method provided by device, we'll render the shared logged in header. Else, we'll render that logged out header so that they can log in. First, we need to add a new folder that I like to call shared. It keeps me organized. You can call it whatever you like. It's where I put things you need in different places. So let's make that partial logged out header .erb. Then we'll go ahead and paste in. Right now, it's very simple. Link to log in and save that. Now we'll make another file in that folder, the partial logged in header. Yep, header.html.erb. And we'll paste in the link to sign out and save. Now we will edit our layout. So we'll go here, let's put it above the notices and let's make that pretty and save. Back in our terminal, let's run the spec again to see if our work is now green and it is. Now it's always a good idea to run all your specs again to make sure that you haven't changed something that affects another spec and they all pass. So now let's go ahead and save our work, see what we've changed, yep, that's what we expect. So let's get add all of those and then get commit, enter to open up the message in our text editor so that we can add as much information as we need to. So I'm gonna say something pretty simple, It's we're just adding the header with the partials for the member to log in and sign out. And I'm gonna include the pivotal tracker number here of the two stories. So here's the first one, I went and got that. And now I'm pasting the second one, it'll be different for you. And just an example of how you know to keep things organized and document what you need to. So now let's go ahead and get push origin master to save our work. 
Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ruby Thursday, Better Than Airbnb. If you want to be sure not to miss any more, please click on that big red button right there to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm inching towards 500. It's coming soon and then I can claim my name. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe. And if you are not already on the mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to check out the different episodes and the different talks that I have and to sign up. On occasion, I will do something else that doesn't appear on YouTube, so be sure to sign up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day and I'll see you soon.